Hi everyone, Melissa here, coming on today to share some of the things I made with the Coparosa dies that I um, I uh, showed the dies earlier in a previous video. So now I'm coming back with everything that I created with those dies. And so uh, let's jump in without hesitation. All right, so we're gonna start off with this heart die as well as this Valentine die. And this is what I created for your inspiration. I um, I know Valentine's Day is over, but I got I received these a little bit uh, past Valentine's Day, so I still wanted to give them props there. And so I really, really, really like this die here. And um, there, there it goes. I did not finish off the inside, um, not, at least not yet. And so yeah, so that's why I created with that. And so let's jump into the next set which I am using this cross die. He is risen as well as, let me just pull this out for you, as well as this one here, which is called twinkling metal cutting dies. So, and that's what I'm using there. I didn't use the star one. I just used this one here. And let me show you that card there. And I thought it turned out really cute. Um, I did glossy accent, the He Is Risen, as well as the cross. And I added some gems on the card and um, thought that was a really, really simple card. Perfect for um, Easter. So, yeah. And I did finish off the inside of the card as well. All right. And then um, next up, we will be... Let me get these out of the way. And I will be sharing let's see i will be sharing this is called the um two regular frame dies and like i said in my video i didn't realize it had a companion set and i only picked the one so um i still worked with it though and so we did a more masculine card with that one and so i just used that as the background die um added um a little uh, vest on there and put happy birthday on there and I think it works very well as a masculine card and I did finish off the inside there and then next up let me show you the alphabet background die and actually it is called letter background die so this is the one we're using next and let me show you what I did with that. I thought I would go with a school theme. So I added a backpack and added a little uh, stamp there, hidden the books, a um, little notepad. And I think it works well for this, uh, for like children's background. Or you can, I, I even thought about doing a uh, Valentine Day card with this one. And I was going to say, you got me all mixed up, Valentine. But... Um, I, I went with the school theme instead, and I think it works very well with the school theme. And uh, I added that little, little apple on the inside. And uh, yeah, so that's that. But uh, like I said, this is what I use. Um, this die here, which is called that letter background die. All right, next up, I'm going to keep this right here because I am using the rhombus die next. And I thought that was super cute. And I paired it with this Sunflower Faith. Uh, die here and uh, put it on um, a couple background dies that I just had in my stash and I uh, thought that turned out so pretty. Now what I did for this, I um, I put a double adhesive on the back side of this so that I can keep in all of those um, little pieces and then I cut it out again in a different color and just laid it on top and I thought that turned out really cute and I did finish off the inside card there added some little gems on there too to um, make it not look so masculine but yet it can it can kind of sort of go as a masculine card but it's definitely I would definitely give it to a female or um, I can give it to a male if I wanted to but I, I really like that though this is my favorite card and I 
I want to say I'm going to use this one as the card that I am going to show for my YouTube channel because <laughs> I thought it was just adorable. <laughs> anyway, so I'm using this irregular square background frame as well as this fish. Uh, I'm so sorry I can't find the fish on their website. I think it they may be out of it right now. Um, so I can't link that one, but I thought it was adorable. Oh, look at that. It is so cute. It turned out better than what I thought. Oh my goodness. So this is the fish that I chose. These are the colors I chose to use it. Um, and there goes that um, little irregular square back there. I used it as like a net. I added some uh, little dots here and a little like, um, what do you call it? Um, like a little uh coral reef or something there and i paired it with um a couple other items that i had in my stash and and then i have swimming by to say hi and i love the tag that i put it on i did want to make it look as if it was weathered wood or like a boat in the background and i just i just absolutely love this card um i did finish off the inside there but that is all i have for you make sure you head over to their site, check it out. And um, yeah, that is all I have for you. I really hope you like these dies. And go and check out their site. I'm trying to put everything up here that I created. I think I'm missing one more thing. Um, but anyways, that's what I have for you. Head over to their site, check it out. And you all have a blessed and crafty day. Thanks so much, everyone.